The scary season is coming to theaters and we got the first movie that came out to kick off the scary horror season off. We got the movie The Nun 2 in IMAX. That's right, in IMAX, but is it any good? We'll talk. Alright, how are you doing today? It's just yes here. Hope you're having a good day and today, yes. So we got the movie, The Nun 2, and we went to go see it in IMAX, but is it worth it in that format? Honestly, absolutely, maybe. What does that mean? It's not filmed or shot for IMAX. So for you, when you go see it, if you do go see it in this format, you don't get the extended aspect ratio. I did see black bars on top and the bottom. You still get great audio from the IMAX experience. Now, Adobe would be another great option as well. And those black bars doesn't mean like, oh my God, Gosh, it's bad because IMAX did release official synopsis which we'll talk about right now and I'll read to you and I'll also put it on screen for you to see us. Now it reads the IMAX release of The Nun will be digitally remastered into the image and sound quality of the IMAX experience with proprietary IMAX DMR digital remastering technology. The crystal clear images coupled with IMAX's customized theater geometry and profile digital audio create a unique environment that make audiences feel like if they were in a movie. So basically all other movies this year had that similar structure that IMAX put out so basically it's not shot for IMAX you don't get the extended aspect ratio black bars so that means even though it's not shot or filmed for IMAX IMAX it's still a great way to experience this film if you chose to do so but that means Dolby is another great option as well since the jump scares and stuff you know <gasps> jump scares since Dolby utilizes the better quality sound even though IMAX has great sound it's not as good as Dolby imagine if they had the IMAX theater with the Dolby sound that would be pretty cool because Dolby theater is a less small screen but still you get the black bars anyway so it doesn't really matter Dolby is still better than your traditional non-premium theater experience. The Nun 2 is a scary horror demonic thriller movie hellish about the demon Valet coming back to kill her prey and to the return to the land of the living. It's a sequel from the 2018's version The Nun 1 which takes place in 1952. This movie takes place in 1956 in France so it's four years later with the same cast of characters. After some brutal kills around the church the demonic figure known as the nun or Volek, which if you don't know who the Volek is she is a descendant from god so she was an angel god cursed her down and he took her power of angel from her so now she's in hell but she comes back to the living which we will see in this movie to try to take down something which we'll find out Valak has returned through the possession of Frenchie which in the first movie you see towards the end that Frenchie Valak possesses him so now she is out and about acting chaos and rust after thinking she had the demon defeated four years ago, Sister Irene now faces some strange visions and disturbances leading back to the Valak known as coming back into her life. Valak is definitely back for round two. Hearing about the eyes of Saint Lucy, it's an artifact in the hands of God that can cast out demons and tell them back into the world of the hell. Although if the Valak gets this Saint Lucy of eyes, who knows what she can do destruction wise scary. Both Sister Irene and Valak like must race against time and race against each other to acquire this mysterious strange artifact to gain ultimate power. Some disclaimer, sort of. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. So we're talking about a scary horror demonic movie. Throughout my whole life, I am deceptible or acceptable or whatever the word is to these types of movies. One of my main fears is hell, demonic, ghosts, everything that the Conjuring verse universe does. I am scared. I don't know why. Maybe I'll make a video someday telling you why I'm scared, but that's why I'm scared. I mean, there was some points before the movie where I'm just like, should I even go? I mean, I knew I was going to go, of course, YouTube, my career and my review, but still like sometimes when you get up in the sky or you're just like oh my god I'm scared and yes to be very honest I did stay up a little bit later than I did last night you know thinking about the demon I put some I let my window have more light to shine in my room so I do get scared and I don't know why like maybe it's because I put so much time effort power thinking my vibes you know I manifest these movies because of course you know me I love movies I, movies are my life some of them I want to be real life like romance and stuff Fifty Shades or Gran Turismo so I feel like I put so much time and effort that sometimes I can conjure them up and make them real but but I, you know, of course, I'm just like, yeah, but doing some research, some talking to you guys, I do feel better, but that's just me, you know? I saw all the movies in the Conjuring universe, even Annabelle, because I would take different dates, or I would have my ex-girlfriends, and it was amazing, you know, because we would be naughty after. I even saw The Devil Made Me Do It, which, link below, I saw that in IMAX in the same theater, and that was the first year I was doing YouTube, so I do like scary movies, I do like horror movies. Before, if you guys seen on this channel, we used to go to haunted houses, and I don't do reviews on that, because mainly that's just like a, a different, different story, but still. 
though. Like I love scary movies, even though it is the thing that I'm scared the most, but sometimes you gotta face your fears and God says face your fears. And besides, sometimes God like talks to me in the movies, you know, cause we'll talk about that in a second. But still like, I mean, I saw all of them except the first Conjuring, but then everything else I saw like Conjuring 2, Conjuring 3, all Annabelle movies, The Nun 1, even The Nun 1, when I saw it back in 2018 at AMC uh, Woodfield, Schomburg, whatever, all I remember was Sister Irene and Father Burke and Sister Irene was like in a recruitment stage. She's never been dealt with this scary demonic church in the God knows middle of nowhere, which is weird because a lot of scary movies have that. They, they have that cabin in the woods and oh, you have to travel so far, luscious green areas next to a pond or lake or whatever. It's like, bro, like the thing that this movie does right that I like is takes movie in France, in, in the city, the suburbs, there's people, there's buildings. So it's like the devil can come to like kill different people at different times of day, even in the nighttime or in the night, in the daytime when you go behind the shaft. So the first one was like, all right, well, that was all right. You know, it was kind of scary, mainly because I was a little bit younger back then. I was like, oh my God, you know, and then theaters, but still like, I do like the country universe. So that was just my disclaimer. So let's get on back to the review. One thing I do like about this whole universe is that the film's connection to God and what that is for me, which is the best part because it shows us Bible verses and it makes us believe that our faith will, I mean, it is true that our faith into God makes us stronger and um, it uses us to fight the demonic forces, which they talk about God is awesome because I feel like God is connecting me with that. He's helping me with through the movies and relationships. Of course, everyone has a different relationship with God. So to me, I feel like the God is coming here through movies, even though it's a scary movie. There's still good movies such as the ones that we review on this channel with God and romance. I loved Sister Irene in the first one, especially as a person or character. However, I always found her to be attractive. I mean, yeah, she's a nun. Even the first time I saw her, I was like, oh my God, is that the same character that played in the romance movie Six Years? And yes, it is. So I was like, damn, I loved her in the first one. And I loved her even more here. She is way more sure of herself. She is way more confident. Her belief in God has elevated in her helpings around the team and what's going on, which is awesome because I loved her as a character perspective. A lot of people are going to go into the scary movie film saying, I just want the jump scares. I just want the hellish stuff. I just want the demonic stuff. Give me, uh, 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 uh. you know, just give me that. But I feel like she carries the movie forward and I would not mind. And I would love seeing her in future installments, especially going into the Conjuring universe or the Conjuring movies, even though that is more for Ed and Lorraine Warren, which is like the big protagonist in those movies. But I love seeing her. She's attractive. I would wife her. I would marry her. She was my babe. You know, I like her and seeing her that she has more strength to deal with these type of things. It, it's amazing to me because I'm like, yeah, she used to deal with this. She doesn't want any more. And it's weird because because when she goes up to talk to the your eminence or the guy on the higher church, the guy's like eating his fancy chicken dinner. He's like, Irene, we need you. We need you to go to investigate and perform a miracle. Like he's like demanding her to go. And I'm like, that's just a little gripe. I'm like, bro, like there's strength in numbers. Why don't you pull a team together? You know, that's why in Boulder's Gate, hint, hint, which is a beautiful game, by the way, they have a team of four. Like, why don't you put a team together? That's what scary movies does. Like that's typical scary movie. You separate somebody, you kill them off. Why didn't you, like, I just found that he was eating his dinner. I'm like, I mean, I don't know anything about like the higher ups of church and your eminence and all that and this was 1950s but i'm like bro like you're just saying it casual like like you she's like you think she has the power now to always do miracles and like i'm not saying that she doesn't but like why don't you help her like i'm just like dude like you're just basically sending her out to die which i'm not gonna spoil anything but that's just one thing i'm gonna do like just strength in numbers however that is quickly resolved when storm reed cast as sister deborah joins her in his journey to investigate what's going on now storm reed has been on fire lately she played in last of us and she was also in this year's movie which we reviewed on this channel called Missing. She was, she's been on fire. And yes, Frenchie also returns from the first movie. I did like their chemistry in the first movie because it seemed like they like each other. They have chemistry. They think she's attractive. He's like, you're a beautiful nun. The way she looks at him, the way she smells at him. Now, yes, I feel like nuns can't have sexual or relationships. So she can't be riding him or he can't bend her over or they can't be doing that sexual stuff. I mean, maybe she can be a bad girl, but I don't know if she's going to want to take that. But still, you do see some flirtation. I mean, of course, Frenchie for me, the guy, I mean, he's literally, I'm mean, like, yo, I like you, of course, you know, the guys are not gonna be scared, right? She's like, yeah, but still, it's like, unfortunately, they don't have the same screen time as they did in the first installment. They still, they, trust me, they still get good chemistry and good screen time, but it's just separated. They're lo different locations for the majority of the runtime. They're doing different issues, different techniques to combat the same strategy of the demonic forces. However, you do see them more like in the middle, in the beginning and end, but it's just not like it was in the first film. I did find the jump scares different and unique, especially in IMAX and yes, of 
of course, the overhyped newspaper scene was amazing to see. It's like, oh my gosh. And it's cool what they did with horror here with the camera pondering. Yes, the story continues as Valet comes back. But still, like, she was a figure for a reason. People are going to be her for Halloween, especially Megan and Barbie. But it's cool because the hallway scene was one to romance about this, especially the also in the school or the bishop or the church or whatever. Like, the things they used, it's still interesting to find new techniques and strategies to scare us since we've had so many years of this Conjuring universe but still some of the stuff they showed I'm like wow that's very effective in jump scares for this season and remember we're in the beginning of September well the second week and we're getting movies like this so don't believe those mean critics it's not all that bad but it's all that great either and it's cool how they play Valak with the difference between living and hell and how the light and darkness affects of her when she does like pop out and stuff especially the hallway scene or the school scene because she's there in real life and then they open the door and she's still there her resemblance which I'll put up a picture on screen right now for you I just find it really fascinating that yeah trust me this is not going to win any awards but still it's another good entry into the Conjure universe so and it's like I said this is just to kick the scary season off this is not even pure Halloween yet we're still in the September and we're getting good movies like this sign me up at the end of the day I'm going to give this a C plus I did find Sister Irene's contribution to the movie was more amazing than I thought it was going to be I mean yeah Valak's there but to be honest with you I feel more comfortable talking about this maybe because Sister Irene's on my side and maybe I can wife her but still stay in until the end credits because it does set up future sequels and installments and i love this conjuring universe even though i'm scared of it and remember this is just the beginning to october scary season we're not even there yet and we're getting good movies like this sign me up as always if you made it this far i appreciate you please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you never miss a video with that take care bye